Alright guys, how's it going? So yesterday, when I made this week's recommended downloads, I forgot to include Logo Tracer. Now this is available for free, links in the description down below, or you can obviously give a donation to the developer. And it's pretty cool to be honest, and we'll just jump into Blender and we'll give it a quick spin. Now, I'm fully aware you have SVG import, you also have another add-on that lets you import PSD files, PDF files, and I think it's EPS files. But Logo Tracer pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. Now I've gave it a kind of, not a difficult image, but something I know that might trip it up. So if we go to open, I'll open the image on the desktop, and it's just a spider web. Now this isn't 100% black and white, it's kind of sitting on the grayscale a little. So if we hit preview, you'll notice that it's a little bit janky. So what we can do here is we can actually put the quality and put the steps up to high. And this should hopefully fix everything. There we go, perfect. Now the threshold, the best way I can describe this is the thickness of the object. So you can move this up and down and obviously you can control the smoothness of the mesh. Now one thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly triangulate it and that should hopefully give me a slightly better topology. And we have two options, we can either convert this to a mesh or a curve and I'll just convert this to a mesh. And there we go, perfect, that's how it works. So this video is going to be a little bit short so we might as well kind of tart it up a little bit here. I'll tab into edit mode, I'll hit E to extrude, I'll extrude the mesh out a little bit, that looks good to me. I'll then quickly jump into weight paint, and I'm going to give it a quick weight paint. So I'll use the gradient weight paint and I'll just do something like this. That should be perfectly fine. I'll then go back into object mode, I'll then come to my modifiers, I'll add in a modifier, and I'll add in the favourite, the wave modifier. Now check this out. <laughs> cool. Now while we're here, I'm not actually happy the way that it's raising in the middle. So what I can do is I can go into weight paint, I can go to weights, and I'm actually going to invert the weight map. Let's jump back into object mode. Let's see what it's doing now. <laughs> I'm easily amused. And that is pretty much the logo tracer add-on. It will come in handy at a certain point. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad. You know what to do.